Well, time now for one of the marquee events in the overall competition, the men's 100 meters, Larry, and we've got some of the best. Well, you saw that vignette we showed from last year, and it was Dentarius Locke from Florida State who got edged out at the finish line by Charles Silman. And so he's on the starting line, and he is hoping here as a senior to do well. Here's Trayvon Brumell. We saw him in the open. And here's what Brumell has to say coming into this 100-meter dash. I feel like running the 10:01. It, it it came from me being motivated from my indoor season. I didn't really get the times that I really was striving for, and I feel like that was my biggest downfall because I was chasing times. So I used it as like fuel to the fire to try to run fast times in 100, and you know just try to have a good season. That's my freshman year. And there he is, Larry. Anything to add to that? Well, youngest man in the field at just 18 years of age, and his coaches rave about him as a person, how he's humble, how hard he works, how focused he is. His top end speed is terrific. So isn't Locks. In the middle of the race, these guys might be the quickest in the field. They usually get out of the blocks well. They're not tall. They're not 6'2 with long legs. Both men are around 5 feet 8 inches tall. That 10.01 was a tie of the world junior record that he set at the Texas Relays this year. Watch lanes five and six. Okay. Bramell in lane five, Locke in lane six. Bramell with an early lead, can he hold it? Trayvon Bramell. The freshman does hold it. 9.99 seconds unofficially rounded down to 9.97. The wind is legal, 1.3 meters per second. That's about two and a half, three miles an hour. That's fine. So an outstanding performance by both Locke and by Bromel, just 18 years of age. And that is a new World junior record just set by Trayvon Bromel. Let me correct that. As I said earlier, 9.97 for him. Datarius Locke came in at 10.02 seconds. Watch him. He just got out, got an edge early in the race. Both had great top end speed, and Bromel was able to hold the margin that he built up by halfway into the race. Right here, he's got a half a step or so, maybe less. Locke tries to close and leans very well. But it is Bromel getting the victory. And you have just seen history as Trayvon Bromel establishes a new world junior record. He's the fifth freshman in history to win the NCAA 100. And he's standing by with Jill Montgomery. A new world junior record. What do you think about that? Uh, it's a blessing just to be here my freshman year and be able to go come and execute in my race. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. You said earlier that indoor, your times weren't coming as much as you'd want them to. What did you do differently in these last couple months? I let God handle it. I put it all in his hands. I was too busy trying to chase times. I just came out here, just let him do what he had to do. He pushed me through the race. Go take your victory lap. <laughs> Thank you. You know, when you do the math on how fast that man on your screen ran, his last 40 yards were the running start. 40 yards covered in 3.2 seconds. <laughs>